In this video I will be showing you how to sample a multi-band image in Google Earth Engine. Before we begin I would like to take a moment and say that I spend hours in making new beginners oriented Google Earth Engine videos. Please subscribe to my channel and share the videos in your community. Let's start. First of all we will load our study area in Google Earth Engine. I will make a polygon geometry and call it as study area, however you can load your study area shape file from your Google Earth Engine assets. I will rename this polygon from geometry to study area. Next, I will create our sample points feature collection. There are three ways of creating a feature collection in Google Earth Engine, and I will demonstrate all. The first is to upload a shape file into your Google Earth Engine assets and import that as feature collection. The second method is to manually create a feature collection in Google Earth Engine. I will create a new geometry. Inside the geometry configuration I will give it a name. Select its type as a feature collection. The feature properties is optional. If you click on the plus property button, it will add a new column to the attribute table of this feature collection. Every feature collection property must have a name and its value. You can give it any value, I am giving zero. If you don't want it that's totally fine. But this optional step is useful in other things like image classification. Please watch my video tutorial on supervised image classification. Link given in video description. Then click anywhere on map and add as many points as you like. Here I will make 10 points. You can also print this feature collection. On console details of every single point inside the feature collection can be seen. The third method to create a feature collection is using the random points method. This method requires a geometry. Details of this method can be seen in docs. Every method or function has compulsory and non-compulsory arguments. Any argument of a method or function which is in non-italic is a compulsory argument, meaning you have to provide that argument, not providing it will show errors on console. Any argument which is in italic is a non-compulsory argument. If you don't provide it no error will show. Please watch my video on Google Earth Engine methods, functions and arguments. The random points method requires a compulsory argument of geometry which could be a polygon, as in our case. Or it could be the shape file of your study area. The points is a non-compulsory argument, however I will copy the code snippet and paste it inside the code editor. Here I will make an object or dictionary out of the arguments of the method. And then I will provide my arguments to the random points method, once again I will give it 10 points to draw. I will print it, as well as add the feature collection on map. Provided some visualization parameters and done. I will comment this part of code as we will be using the points feature collection that we manually drew using method 2. Now to sample a multi-band image I will filter a multi-band image of Landsat 8 and visualize it on map. If you don't know how to filter an image in Google Earth Engine, please watch my tutorial on that. Next, to sample this image using the feature collection we will be using the sample regions method. This method requires an image and a feature collection as compulsory arguments. See the documentation of this method too. I will provide its compulsory arguments. The properties is a non-compulsory argument and requires the feature collection property name. If you don't provide properties name that is totally fine. However, I will give it the property name anyway. This method will return a feature collection. I will print this sampled feature collection, and on console you will see the new feature collection with properties as band names of Landsat 8 and its pixel values. You can download these sampled pixel values please watch my video tutorial on how to download pixel values in Google Earth Engine. You can sample pixel values using the reduce regions method too. Difference between sample regions and reduce regions is explained in my sample regions versus reduce regions video. Link to that given in video description. You can also select few bands and retrieve their pixel values using the Google Earth Engine select method. I will select only two bands from the image by creating a new variable and give this image with two bands to the sample regions method. As I said the properties argument of sample regions is not compulsory so when I commented it, the code runs just fine, if you learned something please like this video. Ask your queries in comments. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.